All right, there's one. Oh, oh, my, oh my God. Come here. Uh, two. Woo. The Sotho Project has been rescuing and rehabilitating Sothos, or stray dogs, in Puerto Rico since 2011. In a typical year, the Sotho Project is able to take 400 dogs through this process. But when Hurricane Maria hit, the number of stray, abandoned, and forgotten dogs in Puerto Rico nearly doubled. Essentially, we, we lost 10 years of work. It, uh, it turned everything upside down. I didn't know what we were going to do and that's not me. And I, I remember having an emergency call with my board at I think about 9 a.m. and I was in tears on the phone because I, I, I said I just, I don't, I don't know what we do. Spay and neuter programs fell apart. Without power, veterinarian and pet hospitals closed down and owners of larger dogs couldn't take them on flights off the island. Six months after the storm, an estimated half a million dogs were wandering the streets. The nonprofit is based in Yabacoa, the region that was hit the hardest by the hurricane. We would fly uh, humanitarian supplies in on empty planes, tarps, generators, water, um, diapers, baby food, whatever we could think of. That would fly in, we would unload the planes on the tarmac and put animals on. Just nine days after the hurricane, they flew 100 dogs off the island in a partnership with Wings of Rescue and the Humane Society. Jessica and Mike are one of the families who adopted a pup rescued from Puerto Rico. In June, they welcomed Piper, a one-year-old Jack Russell and Hound mix. She was found abandoned in the streets of Puerto Rico, but now enjoys walks around her neighborhood in Brooklyn. They really wanted to pair you with the right dog, which I thought was different from another organization. And we just really wanted a happy dog. So that's what we had all over our application. Back in Puerto Rico, the work of the Sato project isn't done. In one year since Maria, they've rescued over 2,000 dogs with a 100% adoption rate. Once a dog is rescued, they bring it to Clinica Mi Mascota, or Candelero Animal Hospital, for testing and treatment. They're quarantined, spayed, and neutered, and then socialized to make sure they're ready for adoption. The cost to rehabilitate a dog is about $1,000, and the Sato project runs completely on donations. A healthy dog stays at the hospital or clinic for about eight to 10 weeks. Then they're flown to New York or New Jersey to be adopted. These dogs are incredible. They are resilient and they are smart and they have a capacity to be able to survive. And, and in my mind, they are a complete mirror image of the people of Puerto Rico. I see in them what I've seen on this island since, since Maria. It's like we're, you know, we're, we're not going down, we're gonna come out swinging.